to show you what it looks like to program the, the nanland.com Go board using fully open source FPGA tools. One of the big benefits about the Nanland Go board is that it uses an ICE 40 FPGA from Lattice, which it works with Project Ice Storm, which is the very first open source synthesis and place and route project. So it's pretty cool that you can synthesize and place and route and program the Go board using fully open source tools. And I'm just going to show you today how that works. If you don't yet have a Nanland Go board, they're still available. So go to nanland.com and get one today. To get the tools installed, you go navigate to clifford.at forward slash ice storm or just Google Project Ice Storm FPGA and it'll come right up. You need to install the Ice Storm tools for Ubuntu. Uh, these eight lines here, or these four lines here, we'll get the Ice Storm tools, Arachne PNR, which is the place and route tools, are these four lines, and Yosis, which is the Verilog synthesis, are those four lines. The tools are currently just for Verilog synthesis. So once Yosis, Arachne PNR, and Ice Storm are fully installed, navigate to some directory where you have some Verilog code, such as this one. And I'll just open up the file test.v. And all test.v is is it connects some outputs to some inputs. So when you push down a switch button, the LEDs light up. This is a project that I had done previously on the Go board using the Ice Cube tools, which are from Lattice. So now it's fun to see what it looks like using the Ice Storm tools. I also have in this directory the Go board constraints file, but I have stripped out the unused constraints. You need to do that to get the, the Arachne PNR to work correctly. So I can just show you briefly what that looks like. That's it. So we have four LED outputs and four switch inputs. So the very first thing to do is to run through the synthesis tools, and you do that using Yosis. So it's Yosis dash P read Verilog. This is test.v is the input Verilog file. We need to call synth synth ice 40. Glyph is the output file. And now we have a glyph file, which so the, the whole Verilog code has been synthesized. After synthesis, uh, I can show you what the, the blip file looks like. That's it. It just shows how the switches, the outputs are connected to the inputs. If you have some more complicated code that uses sequential logic or LUTs, the blip file gets a lot bigger. Uh, so the next step is to go through place and route, which is done by calling Arachne PNR. And you need to specify a few different switches here. That's the 1K part on the Go board. We need to specify the constraints file, which is that one. And we need to specify as well the package, which is the VQ100 package on the Go board. And an output file, test.txt is the output. And the input that we're using to do all this is test.diff. So there we go. We now have a test.txt, which is the fully placed and routed uh, design. Finally, we need to create the .bin file, which is done with icepack, and that's just test.txt as the input and test.bin as our output. And last but not least, we need to program the Go board, which is done by calling iceprog and the name of the bin file that we want to use, test.bin. So now when I hit enter, we see verify OK, done, bye, things look like they're working correctly. And when I push a switch, the LEDs illuminate. So we have created Verilog code and gone through a fully open source tool chain to synthesize, place and route, and program the design. Pretty neat stuff. Um, you can test to see if the tools work correctly. You can just call iceprog on any bin file that you've used, that you've created in IceCube, just to see that the tools are working correctly and that you're, everything's happy in your Ubuntu space. Uh, but for me, it was a really simple process. So kudos to the Ice Storm guys. It was a really, really good experience. All right, that's it for now. Thanks.